What's going on guys? Daily challenges, Madden Rizar's location, as well as group one collector challenges. So I know on Tuesday's update I posted that video saying that animal spawns were fixed. I mean, only thing I can do is apologize, at least in my game, they are fixed. Whether I have 20 people in the lobby, 24, it really doesn't seem to matter. I know people are having issues, so I definitely feel bad for you guys out there. So for some of the challenges, we have chanterelle, carrots, ox, defend campsites, small animals broken down, visit a shop in strawberry, and then also enemies killed from behind cover and showdown. Madame Nazar is over here, just a little west of Armadillo and south of Twin Rocks. So for carrots and chanterelle, we're going to group them together because you can find carrots everywhere. Over at Emerald Station, these first three locations here are chanterelle. The rest of them are going to be carrots. You can also find chanterelle, and we'll talk about those in the next couple clips. This is also a good spot for finding yourself some squirrels, maybe some other little satchel animals that you can use that we'll talk about later to break down to get that challenge done. So if you're in the Ringneck Creek area, here are a couple locations. There's also some other over here, and also you can find squirrels and those types of things to store in your satchel. Another good location is near the Kamasa River and north of Blue Water Marsh. Those four locations right there are Chantrell, but there's carrots all around this area. If you come down to these locations here, you can find yourself some rats. At night, you can find bats. There's squirrels. All different types of things that you can put in your satchel to break down. And there's also some great fishing over in that area as well, which we'll talk about in a second. So for ox, you can find them at these locations. Unfortunately, today, you know, I even though I have animals that spawn nonstop for me, sometimes it's not the right animals, and always on challenge days it appears to be that way. But here are locations where you can find ox, I guess if you're lucky. So for the small animals broken down, you can use small fish, you can use rats, bats, frogs crows quails you know any of those types of animals that store in your satchel just go ahead and open up your satchel break down five of them whatever type they are and then you'll be good to go for that challenge that's why it's always good to keep small animals in your satchel so for these defender camp locations here are plenty of locations spread out throughout the map now the problem with these is are they going to spawn for you also has another player already ran by and engaged it so making it hard for it to spawn for you i guess that's going to be probably the toughest challenge of the day so for these collector challenges keep in mind you will need a metal detector for a majority of these you're also going to want to make sure that you guys pay attention to the time because at 8 p.m east coast time today they're going to switch to the next day's location and also some of these items will randomly switch to different items in certain locations so here we're going to be able to find tarot cards jewelry coins dig sites heirlooms and arrowheads first location over south of valentine is going to be a ebony hairpin dig site although sometimes that could switch to an arrowhead you have a coin at that location next couple spots are going to be jewelry although that one right there could switch to another random item we have a couple arrowheads although these could switch as well then we move down to 1792 quarter Move on to a tarot card at the farm where you sometimes can find an ox. This location right here could be a ring or an arrowhead. Then we move on to a tarot card at Emerald Ranch. Then we move on to another one at the pond just to the north. Then back down to Emerald Ranch for a piece of jewelry. And then this location here at Dewberry Creek could be a random item. Could be a jewelry, arrowhead, coin. It really depends on the day and sometimes they do switch. So as we continue down the creek, a couple more jewelry locations. Although keep in mind they could switch to a random item. We have a dig site with a raw arrowhead. We have a piece of jewelry. Most of these locations down here are gonna be flowers, except for at the dock, you could find a coin, an arrowhead, or a piece of jewelry. We continue, these next three locations here are flowers. Then we're gonna move into Ringneck Creek itself. You'll find a 1789 penny. There's also a creek plum there. And another dig site if you need it, down over in this location where you can find an arrowhead, piece of jewelry, again, sometimes it does randomly switch. And for anybody that needs any remaining coins or heirlooms or tarot cards, at the Ian Roads you can find a coin. You can find a family heirloom there. Next two locations we have an heirloom and a tarot card. And then up by the fence you can find two more tarot cards. And last we have antique bottles and eggs. Over here just a little west of Van Horn you can find an antique bottle. There's an egg at that location, an egg on the islands, antique bottle in the cabin in the swamp. Down here you have three eggs, you have an antique bottle in Braithwaite Manor, we'll move on to another antique bottle location, then there's three eggs at this location here, you have an eagle egg, 
then an antique bottle north of Aurora Basin, and also uh, one right here where the cougar spawns. Appreciate you guys watching. See you guys next time.